Hey, my name is Troy Allen, and we're going to be talking about the Super Mario fandom. Here we have Mario. It's me, Mario! He's a short Italian plumber and the hero of the story. Peachy! This is Princess Peach. She's the damsel in distress and needs to be saved by Mario. This is Bowser. He's the bad guy that steals Princess Peach and destroys the Mushroom Kingdom. Now we have enemies that Mario must face along his journey. First we have the Koopa. He's a turtle, and if you step on him, you send his shell flying. Then we have the Goomba. Just step on him and squish him and keep going. Now we have the Hammer Bro. Watch out for him, he's gonna try and throw hammers at you. Whoa! Keep your eyes out for booze. And there goes a Bullet Bill. You never know what's going to come out. Here are some power-ups that Mario uses to help him along his journey. This is the Super Mushroom. It makes Mario bigger and stronger. Up next we have the Fire Flower. When Mario gets the Fire Flower, he can shoot fireballs out of his hands. Now we have the 1-Up Mushroom. Gives you an extra life in case you screw up and need to start again. The Star Man, or Star, gives Mario a limited amount of time of invincibility. Nothing can hurt him. Let's talk about Mario in popular culture. He is all over the place. Mario is everywhere today. He's on boxer shorts. He has the officially licensed Mario hat, which I own. There's going to be a theme park opening in Universal about Nintendo. And in New York City, Nintendo has their own shop called the Nintendo World. Mario even had his own live-action TV show. Let's cut to a clip. Hey, paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! We're with the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Mario is so popular, there are tons of references to him. Let's take a look at some of them. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, you Yvote. Far too long. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. You can't mess with the program, Ralph. You're not going turbo, are you? Turbo? No, I'm not going turbo. Come on, guys. Is a turbo to want a friend? Or a medal? Or a piece of pie every once in a while? Is a turbo to want more out of life? Call me Bobby Tarantino, living on the level, and I'm prophesizing everything we know because of the internet. I made a million and another million, that's where the Gambino. He wanted a rent us, I swear he the realest. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. I just perform for an hour, perform for an hour, and made myself a hundred grand. I Alrighty, now let's get into the fandom. Let's go! Social media. Let's look at some of the top followers Nintendo Fangirl, Game Explain, and Nintendo. Here are just some of the many hashtags for Nintendo. These are fan sites, websites created by fans so they could upload their own stories and content and interact with the Nintendo community. Some fans will even dress up as characters for Halloween or fan conventions, <gasps> such as this family. And then we yeah. have this kid dressed up as Bowser, trick-or-treating with his friend Luigi. Now we have fan art. This is art that's made by fans, such as this typography piece of Mario and Luigi, or this Mario spoof of an old cartoon, or this very realistic Mario picture. And then we have a travel poster for the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, you very good! Fan community is not a figurative word. It is a literal community. For example, there is an event called Frostbite, which consists of the best fans playing a Nintendo fighting game called Super Smash Brothers. It's a professional tournament style face-off. Let's take a look. Smash. So, Kitaro, who you got? Um, taking this? Taking this. Um, the big head. The big head? Yeah. <laughs> no, no faith in Komoda? I, I, I think I got some faith in Komoda. I like his shirt. You know, he might be able to... Like hey, you, <laughs> you you may lose the match, Komoda, but dang it, we like your shirt. Yeah, there you go. You know, <laughs> you, might, you might be able to work something out. Right, here we go. 
We have up throw into up air. I like how he did that, knowing that Kirby's kind of light, so down throw might not work out. Yeah, that's really good actual knowledge of that. That shows that um, already from the jump, he knows that you know Kirby, kind of a floaty character. Some of his regular, you know, uh, bread and butter combos may not work on the blue puffball. Yeah, there's a lot of different combos that you have to do at lower percents, so it looked like he was looking for something different. But he gets the down throw this time into only one up tilt because Kirby is so light. So that's probably why he did up throw into up air, knowing that'll be more damage at the lower percents. And that's actually something that Ally um, has been kind of famous for, as a lot of people were wondering at the beginning of his usage. Of now it's time to talk about the Nintendo fans. Here is the Nintendo fan. Let's watch some of my favorite fans. My name is Brett Martin, and I hold the Guinness World Record for the largest video game memorabilia collection that currently houses 8,030 items and growing. The collection is primarily stored right here in what I call the Video Game Memorabilia Museum. I've been putting this collection together for about 12 years. The first figure I received was from my parents uh, when I was about 8. It's a little 1989 applause figure of Mario holding a mushroom, and it's about this size. And years later, when I still had it, I decided to find out if there were more figures in the set, because I was still playing video games pretty rapidly. And I discovered eBay, and then I saw a whole lot more merchandise of Mario, and decided to find out exactly how much stuff was out there, and I'm still finding new stuff today. The prototypes in my collection are actually one-of-a-kind items that were never released uh, when a company decided to make a line but then scrapped it before they actually manufactured it. So the prototype is the only figure in the world of that line. Once the collection got to a certain size, I always had Guinness World Records in the back of my mind, but it was great to have them reach out to me on my website and then come count the collection for me. When we first got married, I had maybe a thousand items, but now my wife is a little less tolerant of it because it's grown to this size. Mario 3 was a really exciting time in my childhood and it, it, a lot of this stems from that game because there was a huge marketing push from Nintendo um, for Super Mario Bros. 3. And I still play the games today um, and collect the merchandise from those games, but uh, it's been, I think Mario's more iconic for me from Super Mario Bros. 3. 
So I get asked a lot if I'm going to stop collecting, and as the merchandise keeps coming out, it's really hard for me to say no to a lot of this stuff, because I just love the character and, and how he grows. Uh, but there is no more room in here to, to add more stuff, so eventually I'm going to have to either sell off some old stuff or stop buying the new stuff. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it.